Now let's look at doing a division problem. I know a lot of people get really upset and concerned when there's division because they just don't like it. Mm -mm. Well, since it's division with fractions, good news. What's the good news? <laughs> you can multiply times the reciprocal of the second guy. How awesome! Okay, <laughs> let's do it, okay? Let's just do it. <laughs> so does my first fraction change at all? No. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm going to rewrite this guy. I know this is super awesome. I bet a lot of people have already passed forwarded through the video. So they don't have to hear all the funny things that you guys say and or do. So I'm going to turn this into multiplication, and I'm going to do what here? X squared minus 5x minus 50, and then I just move the numerator down to the denominator. 6x squared plus 19x plus 15. Now it's all about factoring. Put it factoring. Is there a common factor to take out of this numerator? No. No. So it's a trinomial, and I expect it to factor as two binomial factors. <coughs> two x squared has to break down how? Two, two x, x and x. Plus. Two x. No. And x. What do you know about your signs? They're both positive. They're both positive. This is not the greatest common factor of all, of all, all three numbers, though. Man, I don't care. I'm not making it a common factor. I don't pull a 2 out in front of everything. I'm just breaking down the 2x squared. It's 2x and x. Well, that's, that's what I was asking earlier about that other one where... But 2 went into everything, so I factored the 2 out of everybody in the other example. Uh -huh. I pulled the 2 out of everybody in the other example. Because oh, it was a common factor. Strong factor of each other. Right. Oh. There's no common factor here other than one, so there's nothing to take out. Okay. I go to my two binomial factors. What did you guys come up with for these numbers? Seven. You have to six multiply four. to get six. six. One is six. You can't put six here because it has a common factor with two. There was no common factor in the original, so that's wrong. You put the six here, then you're going to get one on the outside. You put the 6 here, what are you going to get on the outside? 12. 12 and 1 on the inside, so that doesn't give you 7. Nope. Uh, what about 2 and 3? Yeah. 2 and 3 is the only other option I have. What has to go here? 3. And then what goes here? 2. Does it work out? No. No? What do you get on the inside here? 3x. 3x. What do you get on the outside? Does that give you 7x? Oh, yeah. 5, 6, yes. 7, yeah, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. How do you factor that denominator? <coughs> x. There's no common factor other than 1. So how does it factor? X, x plus 2 minus x, well, x minus 10. X plus 2 times x minus 10. What about this numerator over here? X plus 5, x minus 10. That's x plus 5, x minus 10. You multiply, you get negative 50, and add to get negative 5. In this denominator, how do you factor it? Mm -hmm. Are you saying you break down the 6x squared as 2x and 3x? What do you know about your signs in here? Now, I have as potential <coughs> factors for 15, I've got 1 and 15, and I have 3 times 5. I said when you're not sure, you should probably start with the smaller numbers. So if I start here with the 3 and the 5, where can I put them? That would be 3 and 5, right? Mm -hmm. Does that work out? Yes. That gives you 9x in the middle. And 10. 10x on the outside. 9 and 10 is? 19. 19. So? 
2x plus 3, 3x plus 5. Right now we look for the common factors that cancel. So 2x plus 3, we've got one on the top, one on the bottom. What else? Plus two. x plus 2. X minus 10, so what's my final answer? X plus 5 X plus 5 over 3X plus 5. Hey, we did it. What's this we business? We? I'm the one who did all this stuff. No. I get no credit? We did it.